Yo, what's good, y'all, man? We got um, Tom Holland, Spider-Man, New Deal, Update, Groundbreaking, Marvel, Sony, Report. No one got my boy, everything always, man. So, hey, we get straight to the video, man. Leave a like. It's on my channel. And, um, yeah. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires. Although it feels like an age ago, it was only a month ago when Tom Holland was still on the press junket for Spider-Man No Way Home saying stuff like, if I'm still playing Spider-Man by the time I'm 30, I've done it wrong, maybe it's time for me to move on. I'd love to see Miles Morales in the MCU, etc. But with its success in his most recent thank you to the fans via an official Sony release, he said he hoped to do it again and again and again, echoing what producer Amy Pascal had said just weeks before yeah, that. Yeah, three Spider Man. anything to do with it, he'd be playing Spider Man for a long time. Well, now we've got an industry insider update behind the scenes, and it is all good news for those of you who want to continue to see Tom Holland in the Spider Man suit. We're breaking. Now, Tom Holland for the, like this generation is is the best. But this generation, you know, he the best Spider Man. No cap, no cap though. Down exactly what they're saying is going on there, and speculate just a little bit about what this news could mean. Just how long Tom Holland will be playing Spider Man in the MCU? We're gonna reference some old industry insider exclusives here at the channel from years ago to annotate that. We're breaking it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content here at this channel, and that's all we do. Everything from official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, reviews, and watch parties to the occasional industry insider report and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, consider hitting the sub button, leaving a comment down below that'll automatically enter you for all our giveaways including our next ps5 which we're headlong into if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there okay so today's update comes from everybody's favorite anonymous twitter scoopster and industry insider my time to shine hello on twitter a great follow if you're not familiar with who this is he's provided a ton of information about what's going on at marvel studios behind the scenes and of course specifics about spider-man no way home that's why we're giving him a lot of reverence here going into the new year he tweeted out less than 12 hours ago quote tom holland is making the deal of his life insinuating that whatever's going on right now behind the scenes for his contract extension is going to be absolutely insane maybe the biggest we've ever seen out of sony and marvel studios now mm. as given his contract no way home was the last film there's one other crossover appearance left for him a lot of people are pointing to morbius craven not the next venom film as that supposedly would be part of an extension but originally here on the channel all the way back in 2020. So most a full two years ago, industry insider and friend of the channel, Mikey Sutton, the editor over at Geekosity, talked about possible plans in the future between Sony and Marvel. This was on the heels of their re-agreement in late 2019 and went on to say that after the initial trilogy that we just completed with Spider-Man No Way Home, that Sony and Marvel would look to do two more trilogies following one in high school we've already seen, yeah. the next in college, and then yeah. eventually Peter Parker as an adult. Three yeah. trilogies, nine movies, plus all the crossovers. Well, we're only three deep, which means this extension that My Time to Shine Hello is referring to as the deal of his life may include at least three, if not six more Spider-Man films, so two trilogies, plus all of the adjacent crossovers, which are sure to include things like... Yeah, yeah, I was like, I realized crossovers too, so yeah. Secret Wars, Avengers 5, yeah. Venom, Morbius, and... I was like, I realized he's still a part of Avengers, so... I mean, wait, is he part of, Well, yeah, he probably still part of it. Especially Craven the Hunter with Aaron Taylor Johnson that's yeah. set to start filming the end of this year or the middle of this year, maybe even presumably released in the next 24 months. All of these films, all the plans for Sony with all of these adjacent villain and villain stories and eventual modern day Sinister Six, all of the adjacent storylines for Marvel that aren't Spider-Man directly related, there are so many movies they're going to want him to be in. Both in the MCU and Sony say, it's, and it's, for other projects. It's, it's a lot of movies, I ain't gonna lie. I literally can't count. So if this ends up being like a 12 or 15 picture deal, you can imagine what the dollars are gonna look like. And I actually don't even wanna speculate. Don't even wanna speculate because I assume that when and if the details of this contract are ever revealed, it is going to look like the most lucrative Hollywood contract that may have ever been signed. And for someone like Tom Holland, who very publicly has designs on being James Bond, maybe doesn't want to be spider-man for the rest of his life this deal is going to look to make sure that he definitely is no matter what else he does and you guys know with all the constraints and commitments that it takes to be a part of the mcu 
It makes being a main character in any other sort of trilogy yeah. not possible. You guys went a long way in pointing out something to me, and you know I'm always willing to admit when I'm wrong. I said Tom Holland may have a hard time breaking the typecast of Spider-Man. We may just all hell no. Tom Holland doing perfectly fine. I said Tom Holland is is that is that is that shit. You know what I mean? Tom Holland is that shit for this generation. He going crazy though, man. I've been saying that when I watched Tom Holland's first movie. I mean, they did his first movie and shit. I was like, yep, this is this the best Spider-Man right here. Okay, this this right here, he got, he got, he got everything. That Spider-Man, you know what I mean? And Peter Parker. This right here, best one, no cap. Always see Peter Parker, no matter what role he plays. And on top of that, it's going to be hard for him to ever be another iconic char character like James Bond. A lot of you pointed out that there were actors in history, maybe even like Harrison Ford, who were able to be Han Solo and were able to be Indiana Jones without them sort of conflating. You can see one of those characters without seeing the other. And you know what? Tom Holland is a great actor. And I don't want to say that his future is written. Thanks. You're a great actor. No cap. But I will say seeing the trailer for actor, and I don't want to say that his future is written. But I will say, seeing the trailer for Uncharted, all I saw was Peter Parker. And I think that, you know... That's what I was saying. Like, I said the same shit too. I was like, bro, that entire movie is just like Spider-Man 4. So if you want to see Spider-Man 4, watch Uncharted, though. He's just got, he just got a different character in him. That's a, it's, it's basically the same shit as the Spider-Man movie. Same shit. So he, he got the accent still there. The voice of Peter is it's, it's right there. It's basically Spider-Man 4. Basically Spider-Man 4. An actor who's as intelligent as he is, he's aware that there's sort of, you know, uh, with one side of the coin comes the other. Yes, he's Peter Parker, but that's also, of course, taking up a huge part of his career in typecast. But man, facts, facts, yeah, okay, could be way worse, Tom. Could be way worse. And for us fans who love you as Spider Man, this is great news and seems to make good on Mikey Sutton's original scoop again, that's going all the way back to late 2019, early 2020, that Marvel and Sony had had all of these trilogies, at least in talks, already planned out. And then this deal that he's about to get for an extension would be the fruition of that, locking him in for all of those plans. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below in full. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of them. And no, I don't think that this comes at the expense of seeing Toby and Andrew on the silver screen, either in Secret Wars, Marvel Sony crossovers, or even in extensions of their own films, if we're ever gonna get that amazing Spider-Man 3, or maybe even Spider-Man 4 with Sam Raimi. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below quickly. Let's get into the giveaway. But um, yeah though, but, oh yeah, like, like I was saying on Charlie though, it basically Spider-Man 4, though. You know what I mean? It basically Spider-Man 4. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I'm definitely watching Charlie, though, because uh, cause Tom Holland, though. You know, Tom Holland and that bitch. Not saying because Tom Holland and that bitch. I'm watching because Tom Holland and the other dude, the other actor. I don't know if I got a name and shit. I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah, though. But, and Charlie is based like Spider-Man 4. You know what I mean? Based like Spider-Man because he got the same stance as when he in the plane. Like, he like this. So, it's basically saying they got the accent, too. You know what I mean? That that um voice change, you know? But, um... Yeah, though, but hey, leave a like to so my channel, man. Let me know what y'all think about the new deal update. Let me know in the comment down below. But, um, yeah, like, sub, and I'm, um, yeah, all right, peace.